Arch Manning. And yes, you know the name. Um, Arch Manning is the nephew of Peyton and Eli. And from what everybody says, and obviously he was only a freshman in high school last year. He's uh, he's going to be a sophomore this coming season. Arch Manning, uh, heading into his sophomore season, hit a growth spurt. Everybody thinks that he, uh, let's see. Oh, Michael's talking about Dalvin Cook. We'll get to that here momentarily. Uh, hang on, Michael. Don't leave. So, Arch, uh, he's the son of Cooper Manning. He's the nephew of Peyton and Eli. Uh, everybody seems to think that he could be the best of all the Mannings. Better than Archie, better than Peyton, better than Eli. And everybody's got a, you know, everybody has their own opinion of who is better. Right? Peyton or I don't Eli know that we all whatever. have an opinion. I think we clearly think that Peyton is one of the top all five to ten yeah. quarterbacks of all time. Eli was a great quarterback, probably a Hall of Famer, but not anywhere close to that level. There are a lot of people. And they like, were both way better than Archie. There are a lot of people like my father that still believes that Archie Manning hung That's the That's because your dad saw Archie when he was yeah. a kid. Well, but he also not watched kid, Peyton a, and Eli. A man. Like, you know, he, he thinks that Archie, given what all of these guys, like Peyton played for a much better team. You can't give him what they have. The Understand. reason we think Arch is better than these two is because we just went over why high school kids are way more prepared than they used to be in college. So, yeah. Arch is going to be a lot better in college than Peyton or Eli ever was. Yeah. Why? Simply because the game has changed. He's had coaching that nobody else has ever had in his life. Yeah. All right. Even if he didn't have the last name of Manny, he would t- was Tua better than those guys? Because I think Tua was better than those guys. You might be right. We knew it. We knew it when he came into college at Alabama. So I think I think kids are just elite level kids coming into college as freshmen are way better than they were 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, so, most figure the rising sophomore is considering five schools during his young recruitment. Obviously, he's going to be a sophomore this year. But the favorites right now, Ole Miss, Duke, Georgia, Tennessee, and LSU. And there are quite a bit of Manning ties to all five schools. And the Rebels may be considered the favorite right now. Um, Manning, who is listed at 6'1", 165 pounds, According to the Athletics' Jeff Duncan, uh, ahead of his sophomore season, he has hit a growth spurt. He is now uh, six foot four as a sophomore and put on twenty five pounds of muscle in this offseason. Uh, if you grow, you grow three inches. You're gonna put on weight just in growing three inches. Yeah. So he, he's. So I don't know that we can quantify that as muscle. You can say it's not fat, and so we assume it's muscle. It also could be a lot of skeleton. Three inches is not entirely a small possible. Feet. Entirely possible. He's he's about one ninety right now. He's like six three, six four, somewhere around there. Uh, he he's getting big. If and he can end up six six, he's he's perfect. Yeah. Uh, Peyton and, and Eli, he's not leaving the state of Louisiana. Peyton and Eli were both listed at six foot five. Cooper is six four, and Arch will probably be that tall or taller. Yeah. Uh, and you don't think he's leaving Louisiana? You think he's going to go to LSU? I, I don't think there's any way he's leaving Louisiana. I don't know, man. I like, I, I'm with you, um, but none of them ever went to uh, LSU. I, I fully like, understand. From New Orleans. I, I, I get that. He is not them. Agreed. He's not leaving the state of Louisiana. LSU was not what it is now when any of those guys went to college. That is true. That is true. You have a valid point. Uh, if Cutcliffe is still coaching, like I don't think it would be a shocker to see. He's him go not to Duke, going to Duke. This but I don't kid think he's would, going. Like this kid does not need to go to Duke. He needs to go to a big time college school and compete for national titles. Yeah, uh, he's not need to go to Duke. Matt Miller jumped in. He said, "I think he goes to Duke if Cutcliffe is there." Uh, no, both no, no, I don't. Him. Well, here's the deal. Cutcliffe's not. I don't. I don't you Giants fans can get off my ass on this. I don't care what you say about Daniel Jones. Cutcliffe is not putting NFL quarterbacks in the, in, in the league anymore, and he's not putting high-quality quarterbacks in the league anymore. Yeah. You want to go to a college that's running modern systems because that's what they're running in the NFL now. Yes, 100%. Uh, Michael all said, the NFL offenses in the next two years are going to look like Kansas City. They're yeah. all going to look like that. Oh, 100%. Or, or the Rams. I mean, so it, if you're playing David Cluckless offense that hasn't changed in 15 years, it's a great offense, very good offense. You're running that. You go into the pros. You're going to be behind. Yeah. Uh, Michael said, "Go get him, Jimbo." 
Uh, the Brown Yeti said Manning on the lane train would be a lot of fun. So it, this is the reason yeah. I don't think it's Oxford is, is simply because what Lane did to Tennessee, I think is going to hurt his standings. You think so? Yeah, I do. You think he could look, I'll tell you this. If he ends up, and getting, I also think if they think there's any, you know how Archie is. Okay. And I know Archie's granddad, but he is granddad. All right. Yeah. If Archie thinks there's any whiff of smoke anywhere, he's getting away from it. You might be right. You might be right. Um, Matt Miller said, I think he, uh, so uh, he said, I think he goes to Duke. Um, Matt said, Ole Miss will be beating on that door. Archie has given so much money to that school, and he is the king there. Uh, Matt Miller said, yeah, but we're talking six years before he even gets to the NFL. The NFL will change again by then. And they won't change that point. soon. Uh, I don't think the NFL is changing that quickly. No, it I think took it's a still... long time to get here. Think about how long ago Chip Kelly, Chip Kelly died for all of this, okay? Chip <laughs> Kelly tried to bring this, and the players, the players fought him every step of the way. Yeah. We don't want to run that crap offense. It took 10 years to get us to where we are now. They're not changing that fast. Yeah. No, you're right. The NFL has found something they like. They're going to change to it. They might change again, but but they're not changing fast. They don't change anything quickly in the NFL. No, and and not everybody's going to be able to run what what the Ravens are doing uh, no. because not everybody's got Lamar Jackson. Like, it's well, just, no, you have to you have to change your entire offensive personnel to do that. You have yeah. to really spend a lot of time and money building a proper offensive line scheme because you're running those lines different than you're running everybody else. You've got to build a defense that's totally different. Yeah. It's, it's just a different way to build a team. Uh, Michael said, how amazing would he be at Mississippi State with a genius? I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate that at all. There's zero no. chance on earth he's yeah. going to stay. It, it, that ain't happening. That's that just not just happening. That. And, and we got to remember, Leach has never had a, just a great elite quarter. He just doesn't go get five stars, okay? No. If you're well, a five star, a he's, letting somebody else, he's letting somebody else recruit you. Yeah. And he's going to go get some college transfer, and he's going to lead the league in in, in passing yards. That's just the, what he's going to do. Yeah, and and the way that the league is shifting, the way that the NFL is shifting, uh, he's going to put guys in the NFL, and it's not always going to be the top guys or whatever, but he's going to put guys in the league. Period. Yeah. Uh, Brown Yeti said he got KJ. Like, yeah, I mean, he got KJ, but that's but a transfer. That's a transfer. That's not a, that's not a recruit. That's a transfer. Yeah. Getting getting a transfer is a hell of a lot easier than getting a incoming freshman that everyone in the country is clamoring after. Yeah, you're you're a hundred percent right about that. Um, that's not Leach's move. It, this is going to be. There's three schools that he, he's not ended up in Duke. A kid this level at this quality with this kind of pedigree and going to Duke. I'm just calling it. No, I, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, Everyone's saying Duke because you're not a fan of LSU. You're not a fan of Ole Miss. You're not a fan of Tennessee. If you're not a fan of those three teams, you damn sure don't want something good to happen to them. And so everyone's saying Duke because it's a safe thing because we know he'll go to Duke. He'll win nine games. He'll be a sweet story. We'll all feel happy for Duke football. And then he'll go into the NFL and never really do anything in college. Yeah, pretty much. Nobody wants that. We want him to win a Heisman. He's that, not winning I a think, Heisman to do. I think the reason Eli went to Ole Miss – had to do with Cutcliffe being yes. at Ole Miss and Archie being so tied in with Ole yes. Miss. Uh, 100%. And it, you know, I mean, it, Eli the, grew up an Ole Miss fan. Eli yeah. grew up watching his dad, well, not maybe not watching his dad, but seeing the highlights of his dad, seeing Cooper play at Ole Miss. Eli, Eli was the little brother. He went to Oxford and went to games all the time there. Yeah. No, I right. think Eli would have picked Ole Miss if Cutcliffe wasn't the coach. I don't think that we can put everything on the Cutcliffe train. No, that, but that's what I'm saying is it was the perfect marriage. Yes. Like it, it made it that much easier to go to Ole Miss um, because he was already there. And you didn't have to worry about it. So, it But was the one same could guy also say if if a little bit better coaching than Cutcliffe, Ole Miss probably could have won, not, won an SEC title. Um, Matt Miller said, oh, he, he said, uh, uh, Leach may not even be there in three years. And then the name oh. Manning can make you win a Heisman anywhere. The brand is too strong. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, look, it, it can get you in the conversation. The way yes, he is, he will always, he will be in the conversation the time he's, he's a starter. The problem is, is they don't have the weapons. We just talked about how valuable it was for Tua and Burrow. You got to have dudes to throw to. Yes. Those guys aren't going to, to Duke. They're no, just not. Period. Period. Javon Chase, Ruggs, Judy's, those kids aren't going to Duke. No, not to play not. bad, not to play football. They're not. Nope. Nope. You are correct. You are correct. You're playing in front of a hundred thousand people every every week. They're yeah, not going yeah. to play in front of thirty. No, you're you're dead on, 
Dead on. All right. I think that's going to wrap up the show. Anything happen uh, that, that we need to talk about? I'm Not trying to look I've for seen. breaking news. And I don't see anything. So I think we're all right. All right. You guys have been fantastic. All you guys in the chat. Matt Miller, Michael, the Brown Yeti, Matt, uh, Damien, Joseph, etc. Everybody, you guys have been fantastic as always. We always appreciate you hopping in the chat. You drive the conversation. And, uh, and we can't thank you enough for that. Everybody, make sure you are subscribed to the podcast. When things like yesterday go down and uh, and the restream and whatever else decides to cut out, uh, the podcast is still going to be there. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a nice comment, a nice review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, five stars. We would appreciate that. Michael said, thanks, fellas. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You make the show. It's a lot of fun to do this every day, and, uh, and, and we are supremely grateful and thankful for you guys that tune in. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. As always, go to winningcureseverything.com, go to tunicatravel.com, and take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.